Now, last week I covered the prepping and formatting of an Amiga bootable 32GB SD card and an OS 3.9 installation, however not in great detail because I've already covered it all before in great detail in a previous video, which is linked in the description below by the way. Last week's video also covered installing the Boing Bag updates for OS 3.9 and the installation of Classic Workbench 3.9. Uh, the Classic Workbench requires the Boing Bag update installation. It was a mammoth of a video, so I decided to create the second part, which covers the SD card image backup and restoration of the Amiga SD boot drive. Before we begin, if you watched last week's video, you will remember me getting very frustrated with the boot order of the drives. The drive which I set boot priority the highest was being overridden by the drive which I set as non-bootable. Why does it boot up as... Seriously, why does the f**k does this boot up as that for? I specifically told it not to boot as that. Okay, reset. If I go into the early boot menu... It's not even listed. DH2 not bootable. And if I select that, use boot, it still boots through into the DH2. Why? As correctly pointed out by Online Amiga, the reason this kept happening was because I named my drive SYS, as in SYS. I would strongly advise against this. Name it something else other than sys. Because there isn't a sign called sys, and the other drive, the main drive, was actually booting up. But due to the sys assign, it ended up thinking it was I was referring to the second non-bootable drive, so it just continued merrily loading into it. So thanks for pointing that out, Online Amiga, and I wish to mention this for those who are following my instructions, to you know, so they don't lose any hair. <laughs> so let's continue with backing up and restoring SD cards. Okay, now that everything is tested on the Amiga, uh, what I want to back up, I want to at least see if this backup solution works. Uh, if I can get this SD card and use Win32 Disk Imager, which is what we use for uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, you know, image restoration and backup. So we insert the SD card. This is drive H. And we then open disk image. So yeah, it's drive H. It's the only one that allows you to. And let's... Amiga 2017. So it's reading from the drive. And it's going to do the entire drive, I think. I hope. <laughs> Including the partitions and everything. Now do you just need to do stuff? Fun? Just, I just need to finish off now, Happy. But you can have, you'll be, can I use the laptop in a short while? Okay, so this is done now, and the image is over here. Here. Amiga Feb 2017, that's the backup, and it's like 30 gigabytes. So there's no way to back that up other than have a hard drive. Okay, so one last thing I'm gonna do is uh, test this uh, image uh, that we've just created uh, earlier on with the, um, the, the Win32 disk imager, <clears throat> you know, the backup image. So I have a spare SD card uh, lying around, so what I can do is I can, you know, burn this, burn this. But I can image this, so I can image this back up, back onto another card, and then you know test that with WinUA to see if it works. The image that we created works. I want, so we're gonna need to go back into Win32 Disk Imager, and then select the image file which we just created. Uh, it seems that you know it didn't add the extension. I should have added the extension, so I'm gonna have to you know select this and pick the file out just like this. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna skip ahead. And once this is done, I will test it on WinUAE. Now this image, uh, this backup image has been written completely to the SD card. Now I'm gonna open WinUAE and of course open as administrator. <laughs> and. Um, Let's let's 
mount the um, SD card as a hard drive you know, after loading my configuration and boot up and see if it all works. Okay, so it works! Fantastic! So you can see all my files here and my games here and everything, you know, my games drive works as you can see and everything is here. And fantastic! So I'm really happy about this now that I can actually um, back up, you know, this, my Amiga drive and if anything goes wrong, I can just, you know, restore it from this image and, you know, make more backup images, things like this. This is fantastic. And, you know, it's such a relief because I was wondering how the freak would back up my Amiga drive so, you know, efficiently and quickly. So, here is the go. But please, please, do test your own. If you're gonna follow my... Uh, <laughs> if you're gonna follow this video, please do your own testing. Please don't completely rely on my testing. Test if your image works before you rely on it and rely your precious data on it because I do not want to be responsible for this. Anyway, so this video is long enough, so I'm gonna call it a day for now, uh, or a few freaking days. So, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me through all this, and thank you so much for the love, <laughs> thanks for the likes, the shares, and also do check out my, don't forget to check out my other videos, and there's gonna be more to come, so do subscribe for more, and for now, I say adios!